I um yeah. Back at it again. Just that church. Doing this again. And time for this. Reading Psalm 8. Starting with English German version. I think we'll do all five this time. So yeah. Psalm 8, um, how majestic, um, English Standard Version, how majestic is your name to the chorus master according to the Griffith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our God, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory <laughs> above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes, and still the enemy and the avenger, and to, to still the enemy and the avenger. And when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, and what, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower that, than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, and the birds of the heavens, and the fish of the sea. Whatever passes along the paths and seas, O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. How oh, nice. Just praising the Lord. How truly great is the Lord. You know what's crazy? I have nine subscribers. Also, three, at least 300 people have seen my content. They haven't actually watched all of it. They've just seen it. I kind of freaked out about that. I don't know why. It's a lot of people. Don't think anyone was going to see this. Parents are probably going to look at it now. It should be fine. But part of me is nervous. Oh well. All that's on here is the truth anyway. Sometimes it's hard to be. But it's easier to be truthful here, where it feels like no one's watching, than it is in real life. Oh well. Let's keep reading. On to the NIV. Or... New International Version. For the director of music, according to Griffith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory to the heavens. Through the praise of our children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your, our, your heavens and the work of your fingers and the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? The human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You have made them rulers over the works of your hands. You have put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and animals of the wild, birds of the sky and the fish of the sea and all that swim of the paths of the sea. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Okay, so I kind of missed the other part. But it was like, oh, um, it was all like, oh, why do you, we as humans are rulers of the earth, which is a kind of cool concept. We were tasked with looking after all the worlds in the earth, and we haven't done a good job. Like, climate change is totally a thing. That's bad. Climate change needs to not be a thing. We should we should start looking after that. We should definitely care for our environment. Our environment's very pretty. It's one of the first things God looks after us for. We must take care of the earth, which we've been given graciously as the rulers because we know God's version of rulership, ru being a ruler is servitude it's one of the commonalities you mm -hmm. rule over someone you, rule to, you live to serve those people isn't that a beautiful idea servant leadership we are the rulers of all the earth and that means we must serve it and take care of it which is why some people decide to be vegetarians and stuff and vegans and I don't I don't think that's necessary. Mainly due to some people go, oh, you don't get enough protein. You can't get enough protein. 
I'm actually more concerned, especially with women, uh, about the iron. You need a lot of iron, especially if you're doing exercise. We have a very active family. We could never go vegetarian. Even vegan actually is more weird to me because, like, if you want it to actually taste like that stuff, and a lot of people do, and I understand it, and I'm fine. Some people go for it. It's good. But also, I'm like, mm, there's a lot of processed products in that. Like, you could just use honey and stuff, and it's not necessarily actually harming the animals. Like, some places it will harm the animals. Of course, like, some of the ways they do it aren't necessarily good or right. But, like, if you have your own chickens, you can make sure they're really look well looked after and they're not actually harmed. We had chickens for a while. They were nice. They're dead now. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on to King James Version. We haven't had that one in a while. Yep, still in summit. To the chief magician upon Griffith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who hath set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of bays and sucklings hath ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou might hear still the enemy and the avenger. I consider thy heavens and the work of thy fingers and the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man that thou how art full and mindful of him, and that is son of man that thou but visit him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and thou hast crowned him with glory and honour. Thou hast madest, thou madest him to have dominion over over the world of thy hands, and thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and all the beasts of the field, and the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the lands of the seas. Our Lord, our God. O Lord, our God. No, that was still wrong. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. I, can't, I really can't do that. I just, I'm just like, our God, our Lord. O Lord, our God. O God, Lord, our God. Uh, that's what I always say to the Lord thing. Yeah, it keeps tripping me up. That's not nice. Anyway, let's go. Did we start? No, we haven't done good news version, and then we'll finish off with the message. God's glory and human dignity. O oh Lord, our Lord, our, your greatest is seen in all the world. Your praises reach up to the highest heaven. Wait, there is no highest there. Your praises reach up to the heavens. It is sung by children and babes. You are safe and secure from all your enemies, and you stop anyone who opposes you. When I look at the sky which you have made, at the moon and the stars which you have set in their places, what are human beings that you think of them? Mere mortals that you care for them. Yet you have made them inferior only to yourself. Okay, missing out on the angels there, but then again, huh, maybe we aren't. Ugh. Anyway, you crown them with your... You crown them with glory. With glory and honour, you are not... You pointed them, you rulers over everything you made, you placed them over all creation. Sheep and cattle and the wild things, the wild animals too, the birds and fishes, fish and the creatures of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, your greatest is seen in all the world. And truly it is. Stars, just nature in general, how pretty it is, how beautiful it is. Great Barrier Reef, have you ever been snorkeling? I've been snorkeling, it's pretty fantastic, like look at all the fishes and sea animals seen turtles up close. I've fed dolphins multiple times. Benefits of living in Queensland. Yeah, the coast. It's really dry cheap sometimes. Anyway, and also just having parents who can travel around. I haven't really been out of the country, but I've seen a lot of my country. I've also been fossil hunting. That's fun. Anyway, last one. Let's see the message, which often, often seems a bit of a bump. Often very descriptive nature. So let's see what they have here. Oh, God, brilliant Lord. Oh, starts up great. Yours is a household name. Nursing infants gurgle choruses about you. Toddlers shout songs. The drought that drown out enemy talk and silence atheist babble. I look up at your micro skies and dark and not dark and enormous, your handmade sky, sky jewelry, the moon and stars mounted in their settings, and I look at my micro self and wonder, 
Why do you bother with us? Why to take a second look our way? Yet we are so narrowly missed being God's bright in Eden's dawn. You put us in charge of your handcraft or repeated to us in your Genesis chart. Made us stewards of sheep and cattle, even the animals out in the wild. Birds flying, fish swimming, whales singing in the ocean depths. Lord God, brilliant Lord, your name echoes us throughout the world, around the world. Ah, yet again, the descriptive, beautiful nature of the message. Sometimes the message doesn't always get the message across, which has been the case in some of these. But it always is very descriptive in its visual images. It truly makes you wonder at the beauty of the Lord. Anyway, the message today was about, the sermon today was about like, What's holding you back from following the Lord? What's holding you back from following God? Now, and it was kind of, the question was asked was like, how many jobs would you have to be rejected from before you stopped following the Lord? Like, how how often would that happen? I was like, I don't know. That was my general thing. I was like, I don't know, but also it could be less than I thought because I thought I was on the right track. I thought this is where we'd be going. And I'd be going, but I wouldn't be going abandoning God, going why do this? I'd be going, what the heck do you want me to do? Like. Where the hell do you want me to be? Like, I don't know. I thought I was on the right track. I thought you wanted me to be a computer programmer doing cybersecurity. And also this, this, this also came into that list. Was also, I think, part of the plan. I don't know. The fact that I've had 200 views, 300 views, and I've got nine subscribers, I think maybe I'm on the right track. But like, the thing was, well, before now, I was actually, but then I went, wait, this is what you wanted me to do. I was terrified before now of doing this. Like the actual idea of doing this scared me. So maybe I am on the right track by doing this. And hopefully I'm on the right track by doing the coding stuff and doing that. And I'm still on the right track there. And maybe if he did ignore everything in Australia, maybe it's because he wants me to go over to America, which is terrifying. That, that, that is genuinely a terrifying thought to me, but who knows? But I do think I'm on the right track. And I think God... God may close doors, but he also opens them. And that's what you have to trust. God will lead you and he will never lead you astray. His way may be hard and tough, but it'll be fulfilling. And it'll bring you joy and he will never, ever abandon you. You will do amazing things with the Lord by your side. They may be terrifying, but you'll never be alone. You'll never be unloved. And in the end, people, the more you trust in the Lord, the more people will go, what you did was incredible and how the hell did you survive that? Like if you went through, you could go through the depths of hell and you, he, he would be by your side. When you come outside, people go, how do you still have faith? And it's like God was with me the whole time. And honestly, people will be in awe of you because you will have done something amazing. There's nothing you can't do with the Lord by your side. And the Lord, and once you put your trust in the Lord, he will never abandon you, ever. And that's something that I think we can all rely on. The way may not be easy, but in the end, you will do things that a lot of us will marvel at. Bye! I got by that. Bye!